Now, in order to be able to get to the brake lines, we're going to have to take this back seat out. Twelve millimeter bolt. On Subarus, the brake line comes in through the inside of the vehicle underneath the carpet right here. It comes up right here underneath this plug. These are your two brake lines right here. So what we're going to be doing is popping this out, going underneath. We lift all of this up. We're going to cut these lines up here where we can get a fresh metal, put new ends on them and flare them, couple them together here just because, well, it's not worth putting any money into this vehicle. So let's get cracking. Well, Subaru brake lines are kind of interesting. Here's your master cylinder. Brake lines coming out the top and the front. There's one coming out the back and the bottom. They run straight down the frame rail, right down there. They go down underneath. They come all the way across. They come through down here, run along. Come through here, through here. And then they come up to the ABS unit. In the ABS unit, they come back down, and you run across the top of the rail here. This is a proportioning valve right here for the rear, rear brakes. And these are your lines that go over to your front, uh, as well as coming from the master cylinder. These two brake lines right here are the rear brake lines, and they go into the car through the firewall right here. They come out from underneath the dashboard, and they run inside the rail here on the inside underneath the carpeting. So they stay inside the vehicle where they don't rot out. Put them all the way through here and then they curve come up here and these are the brake lines right here that go down through underneath the vehicle and then they come out down here. Hope I'm getting you guys a good view of this. I'm going to move around a little bit because I can't see. But right there is where the leak is. Right there is where we're going to have to disconnect the lines. We're going to patch them by putting a junction in right here and replacing these lines down. Think somebody's been in here before? There's our brake lines right here. Customer asked me how much longer they think they can get out of the vehicle. I told them they'd be honestly lucky if they could get another year. Look how bad this is. That's cracking all the way through. It's just a matter of time. Now following the lines down through the floor right here, I determined that the one coming through the floor closest to the driver's seat is the one that's leaking. So we're going to grab a hold of it right where it goes through the hole and we're going to bend it back and forth until it breaks and then we're gonna grab the vice grips and we're gonna squeeze the end of it just to stop it from dripping and I'll get you an angle over here that out of the way. This one here, this one here. The AB 
mess wire. This wire's got to go over here somewhere. Wrap that around the seat belt. There. Now we're going to have to get underneath. Let's finish crimping this over so it doesn't leak when I take the vice grips off. So you curl it over and then you can grab it again. Actually, curled and then you can crimp it. There, now I can double check but that's the only leak I've got. I don't see any other leaks, so I think we're lucky with one line. Yeah, I think we're lucky. I'm only gonna have to replace the one, patch the one line. So, let's go get ourselves a little short patch. I'm going to go get a new one. There's the line. I'm going to pull that right down through. There's the little piece that broke off. Now, the line that I got from the parts store is obviously way too big. I have line, but I need ends. I bought extra ends just to play it safe. Got a coupler. There's the old end. Normally I would reuse, but this thing's mangled and those are good. So, if I go all the way down in this way, bend it, come up and out, this line's going to come all the way over to here. We're not going to do that. We're going to cut this and shorten it. We're going to cut and splice right here. Let me get this one cut right now. A little cutter. We don't want to bend this up because we don't want this to stay sticking up in the air when we're done. We need plenty of paper towels because it's probably going to leak all over the place. The auto parts stores, they're getting low on parts. I kid you not, when I walked in there, there was about six of these, nothing smaller, everything longer, but their rack where they keep all these lines was probably about 20% full of that. A lot of empty spots everywhere. I do make my own lines. And every once in a while, I run into a situation where I don't have fittings, so... In this case, I was able to find fittings. This thing needs to be lubricated a little bit. Try to, I forgot this one was broken, but we can still use it. <laughs> Got a bolt. That's all I really need. Now, I need some oil 
this is stuff. All right, I'm back now. I got oil everywhere now. Good job. All right, that's not. I'm making a freaking huge mess here. All right. Now, which one is going to fit properly? I get the right size fitting. Little adapters, you got a little step on here. You use that step to determine how far the line has to stick up through. And we'll tighten it down right there. All right, now that's bottomed out. Now hopefully it didn't push the line back through. All right. Get a little piece out. Now, still making a mess. Break it all over the place. All right. So our end is flared. Now we're gonna show you how to be stupid. And not put your new end on first. Dum dum. So I'm gonna undo this, take it off, and cut it again. Cut the end down again. It's taking forever because my cutter's getting dull. Probably about time for a new one. This thing's been through quite a bit. But it's small enough to get into really tight spots. It takes me longer to cut the end off than it does to flare it. There we go. And this time I'll remember to put the end on first. Just far enough. Now let's try this again. Now let's 
go get a wrench so I can tighten that up. And apparently this is a half inch bolt. And I buried the SAEs. So I'm just gonna use a 13 millimeter. And I need a pair of pliers to hold the bolt still. Nice and tight. Ah, I forgot to set the depth. I'm really on a roll today. Really on a roll. Alright. Set the depth. And tighten it down there. Double check. Okay. This end right here. I'll tighten that down nice. Put a little end in. I'm already bending the line, so I'm gonna have a hard time with the getting it back out. Alright, now. There was a way. Maybe there is. I just lift everything up, push that over, and put everything down. Everything can fall over, but at least the goddamn carpet's out of my way. Alright, now. Well, we've got a nice little bubble flare. Yep, now we can push the bubble flare back and turn it into an inverted flare. Gotta admit, this is not fun. Getting everything's hitting everything. All right. I don't understand this. There we go. Oh, it's because of the bolt in the way. Uh, this is going to be fun. flared line. Alright, now the new line. This broke off at the fitting. 
Now we're going to go in right here, and that's going to come right to there. And then up and in, and over to here. So we're going to cut right here. And yeah, I probably could just bend this around in a couple of different directions, but. All right, now we got that end cut off. Save that for another short one we need some point. Make sure that we can get our little adapter in here. I rushed it with a pair of pliers, so that closes the hole up. Now, got the smaller one. Get that in the hole if I can. In this case, I cut it too quickly, so I can't get inside of it. <sighs> if you rush with the cutter, you squash the line, and that's basically what I did. I squashed it. All right, back again in a moment. I got to open that up a little bit. If I only had a brain. Get that one backwards. That was just plain dumb. Let's get this set properly. Try that. Hopefully that worked right. Hopefully. Sometimes I get stuck. That looks good. Now we'll push the flare down. Not perfect, but it'll work. So now we have a short one. I guess you gotta go down through. Put my bends in this. Make sure everything is lined up right. Figure it out from there. I'm gonna get some silicone spray so I can shove this right down through. Anytime you want to shove something through rubber or slide rubber, this is the stuff to use. Right down through nice and easy, you won't tear anything. Now let's see what we look like from underneath. <sighs> no, 
now I need a light underneath there because I can't see what I'm doing. So I've got it loosely fitted in there. Now I'm gonna pull back up on it some. And then we're gonna bend it over. That's gonna have to do it. All right. Now I'm gonna undo that, clean up the bends a little bit. Bottom one in. Thank God for editing, right? Okay, so we got 10 millimeter. Let's get the bottom one in down tight. get you underneath where you can see what I'm doing down there. And the question is, can you guys see what I'm doing under here? Yeah, you can see, but the lighting's horrible. And let's see if I can figure out where I just dropped my wrench. This right here. to the point. That's about as far as I can go with that. I'm starting to round the nut. And it's pretty tight if I'm rounding the nut. There we go. Now let's go back up top and get it connected. Bye. Back in here. Let's see, I think we're good. We got good camera angle? Yep, good. All right, now, take this mess and start to bend it over where I want it to be. Just a little bit. Shrink that back out just a little bit. Hold that brake line, but. I don't know if that's straight or not. Do 
Do I know which line this is? Nope. Did I trace it? To figure, you know, follow it to see where it goes? Nope. Why? I'm gonna bleed all the back brakes anyways. I'm gonna bleed all the brakes. compression fittings. They're illegal and they're dangerous. Always use threaded flared fittings. There's our fittings. Got it all straightened out. Got the new line in it. Now let's go ahead and put some brake fluid in. Pump it up a little bit. And then we can uh, get the bleed in the brakes. Now, I'll tell you the truth, I don't know how much of this I actually feel like filming. That line went in, patched, started bleeding the brakes, and of course, right away, another one blows out. Uh, I've got the bleeder screw loosened up, I pumped the brake pedal a couple of times, no fluid came out of here at all, so I'm assuming now that this side right here is the one that blew this time. The other one was the other side, so I'm going to run a line from there up to here. I'm not even going to bother following the way it went. I'm just going to run a rig, rig a line in here because, well, this car's a piece of, well, you know. So, yeah, let's buy it a few more years, or, well, months maybe. So, we got nothing coming out of this one. So let's get this line detached, get it out of here. I don't even care about being nice to it. I'm just going to rip this thing right out. 